Hello and welcome to another episode of Nuts and Bolts Review. So today, you're probably wondering what's behind me. Well, that is a sheet of plywood. And on it is the template to install the East Point Sonoma Bristle Dartboard and Cabinet. So I picked this bad boy up uh, at a local store. It was on sale from 110 bucks or something like that down to 70. And I figured that I would uh, put it on the YouTubes for you guys and um, <coughs> show you what I'm doing to install it because I've never installed one myself. Far from a professional, but I'm an everyday DIYer, I guess. Um, it's very <clears throat> easy, it looks like, to install this guy. So first and foremost, I do just want to tell you guys, it's very important that you guys get something like this, a, uh, a backboard of some sort so you, the darts don't stick in the drywall or damage the wall that the dartboard sits on. So that's what I did. It is a three by six and it comes with that nifty template up there that I will show you. Um, basically, I just, I just did this. I hung it exactly where I wanted it. I leveled it out. Um, it basically self-levels, and uh, that point should just be hitting the floor, which it is. So I'll just give you guys a closer view of that. So there's the template there. As you can see, it's all leveled. Um, it's taped up there with scotch tape, and it runs down and just touches the floor. So according to the instructions, that should be exactly where it needs to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to the next step. This, this did say that it installs in minutes. And they're probably right, but I'm taking my time at it. So the next step here is I'm going to just install the brackets with the uh, provided hardware. And uh, then it looks like we can just hang her up. So let's get to her. All right, so these are said brackets and according to the instructions, they go in just like that. And then you got a nail there a nail hole up here and then same and it came with the nails so i'm gonna go ahead and hammer this in all right guys first one is in um i would recommend drilling a pilot hole just to make your life easier um obviously you could get it in there without having a drill and a drill bit but i decided to drill a small pilot hole just to help place the nail so i could hammer it in um, it was getting a little tricky because the nail was just moving, but it does look like I got this one like pretty much bang on. So I'm going to try my hardest to match this side. I did end up putting some tape on the bottom here just so this wouldn't slide, but it's pretty much like bang on. So I'm going to try really hard making this side equal. All right, guys, it's in. The one on the right is down like it's this way by like a millimeter, but the sheet during all this, even though I taped it four times, four times, um, it did move. So as you can see here, the camera will pick it up. It's kind of oblong off of the arrow, so it's not bang on. So I'm, I'm thinking that once everything is, you know, once the damn thing is on there, I think it'll level out based off what I'm seeing here and what happened with the shift. But anyway, that's what you want to do. You just want to make sure you're level. So I'm going to go ahead, rip this sheet down and I'm going to try to put that thing on there and then I'm going to get an actual level and make sure we're level. All right. So I just wanted to show you guys what we got going on here on the back. So it has like a, uh, like a, you know, a screw obviously, but it's like a socket system that just slides right into those brackets. So, uh, it is pretty easy. It's fairly easy. The, the hardest part of all of this is installing. Those two brackets on the wall, um, and of course, maybe finding studs. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go ahead and put this on the wall and see if we're level. All right, folks, so it is up there. It is level. It's not perfect level, but it's so close to being perfect that I'm going to leave it alone. Um, you just got to be careful when you're pounding those nails in. It, it does shift around the template. Um, I don't care enough that I'm not going to redo it all. Um, like it's it's pretty much level if you can see that the, the bubble is just touching that inner line so 
technically we're still good. Um, everything works and opens as it should. Comes with a nice little ledge in here to put your, your chalk and your eraser here and then all the darts. So I'm gonna go ahead, assemble the darts, clean this board up. And uh, I got a dart board to play darts in here now. So that's super awesome. Also just wanna show you guys, there's nothing else in the instructions. Um, I did that already. And then it just says, you know, pound those brackets in. Slip it on, which I did, gently hang it. And then uh, it shows you the specifics of where it should be and uh, where your toe should be. So I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna go uh, grab some tape. And that way uh, we're gonna have a nice little uh, getaway in the garage to play some darts. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the dart board up, put the darts together, throw the first dart, show you guys, and then We'll conclude the video. All right, we are 100% complete. The darts are assembled. Um, you just have to take these fins and spread them out and then place them in the slits here. There's little slits in the dart and uh, they slide in pretty easily. So it's nice that this little cabinet kit here has little placements for both sets of darts, two chalks and an eraser, and then of course, we got two chalkboards. So without further ado, I'm gonna give this a try and hopefully not fail hard because it's probably been legitimately 15 years since I've thrown a dart. So let's see. All right, everybody, now that the board is up, everything is pretty much mapped out. The only thing that's not mapped out is the floor toe line. That should be 2.37 meters away from the board. Obviously, it's not mapped up or mapped out right now, but I'm going to map it out. Trust me, and uh, put some tape on the floor. So, without further ado, let's throw some darts. These are going to be the first darts I've thrown in probably 15 years. So let's see how I do. Ready? Come on, bullseye! What well, would you look at that? Bullseye on the first throw. Maybe I am better than I remember. All right, here goes the second one. Two bullseyes in a row? Let's go for third. You ready? Dang it, so close! All jokes aside, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You watched me put up my dartboard. Um, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this in the garage. Uh, not only do we have to or can we work on cars in the garage, we can also, you know, lay back, enjoy some beverages and throw some sharp things at my wall. It's not a bad idea. But uh, this is what this channel is gonna be about, guys. It's, you know, installing and reviewing products. Um, I know I haven't made a video in a long time. I've been sicker than a dog for the last four months, um, literally my whole family. Um, especially with uh, with the newborn. So uh, yeah, I want to focus this channel on uh, newer, um, I guess, product reviews. You know, ordering specific things from Amazon um, that people like or enjoy, or that even I like and enjoy. And showing you guys what it's like. Or buying things and installing them, watching me install them, just so you guys don't have to run into the same issues and maybe by watching my videos, you can get some tips and tricks. Or maybe I can get some tips and tricks from you guys in the comments. It's a two-way street, you know, you got... You, you, it's a two-way street, you know, you guys. There we go. Um, but that's all I have for you guys today. As always, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please give this video a thumbs up. Think about subscribing. And until the next time, everybody, peace!